Hello, pupils. Potential lead ban. But a few people say, well, what do you think? What do you think? You haven't said anything. Me? I generally don't say fuck all, do I? <laughs> I'm doing this in the car. The plan was to be uh, standing by the field, you know, where the fucking crows are all swarming around. <clears throat> but it keeps pissing down the rain, snowing, and blowing a fucking howler. So you'd have never have heard it anyway. So I'll do it in the car instead. So I run the risk of getting stuck up to me fucking doors. For fuck all. But anyway. Hmm. Potential lead ban. What do we think? Well. I'll tell you what I fucking think. The problem is. From what I can see is. Certain shooting organisations. You know who they are basically said, right, within five years, we're going to fucking hopefully get rid of all the lead, all the plastic, all this, that and the other, right, and uh, forgot, they actually forgot to consult the fucking cartridge manufacturers, <laughs> right, now, I'm no fucking expert, but surely the cartridge manufacturers should have been consulted first. Yeah, because they're the ones that are going to have to make the fucking, the big changes. I know a lot of the shooters, um, I, I don't want to use steel, I don't want to fucking, you know what I mean? But the problem is, what I see, it's not really the fucking, the way the, it's not the lead ban, or the potential lead ban. That is, it's really the fucking problem. It's the fucking way they've gone about it. Not consulting anybody, Um it was bad enough not consulting their own fucking membership. <clears throat> you know, these fucking people are throwing money at them left, right and fucking centre. And um, the membership wasn't consulted, allegedly. I'm saying allegedly, just... <laughs> no, I'm fucking sure it wasn't. Um, yeah, so the membership wasn't consulted. Nor were the fucking cartridge manufacturers. And yet a statement was, was released saying that uh, certain cartridge manufacturers were on board with this. You know what I mean? So, it was all fucking, uh, all brilliant, everything was gonna go, it was all, hey, we're all gonna fucking have no lead, all shooting with steel or bismuth or tungsten or whatever else they fucking, they're gonna uh, try and implement. I mean, bismuth, fuck me man, what's that, nearly three quid a fucking shot? Pfft, fuck right off. Um. Yeah, so they've, they've basically um, told everyone that this this five year plan, and then uh, next thing, the cartridge manufacturers, Game Ball, Hull, even Eli, which I was, we were led to believe that Eli were on board straight away. Um, so yeah, so the top manufacturers have had to release a statement. I keep going in the fucking dark here, don't I? Um, had to release a statement saying that um, they're not on board. They weren't consulted. Nothing was fucking. They weren't, they weren't even fucking. Nothing was mentioned to them, lot. Um, so that's made someone look a complete cunt, hasn't it? Fuck me, it's gone dark in here. <laughs> yeah, so that made someone look a complete twat. Um, and then another shooting organisation released a statement last night saying, oh yeah, uh, sorry, um, we thought the cartridge manufacturers had been consulted. I thought, fuck me, man. <laughs> what the f... <coughs> Jesus Christ. I will leave all the, all the links in the description um, to all these fucking statements. And I'll try and put them in in order, so you've probably already seen them by now, because obviously I'm late getting this shit put together. But uh, fuck me, what a, what an absolute fucking ass! Um, and I was talking to someone yesterday, and uh, I sent them a link. I said, "Oh, just in case you hadn't seen it," sort of thing. And then this person comes back and says, uh, <laughs> "In a couple of hours, there's going to be something else popping up." It's just going to get a bit messy. And as it happened, it was a fucking Basque releasing another statement saying, yeah, all the cartridge manufacturers are all on board and we're all happy and everything's going to happen. And they're all 
all doing this, all and all within the five year time frame. This is like two hours after Game Boy had released a fucking statement saying it was not happening. That there's no way they could fucking do it in five years. Well, <laughs> obviously Basker just like, yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry about that. We say so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck me. I was, um, Facebook <laughs> last night was fucking, everyone was fucking bouncing. I was pissing myself laughing reading that, <laughs> reading it all. And then you've got the, the anti-steel lads, which to be fair, I mean, I only ever use steel. Don't use anything else. I haven't done for about eight years. Every single shot you ever see me take on any of my videos is steel shot. So, um, whether it be fucking pigeons, pheasants, crows, ducks, whatever. I always, always use steel. Anyway, um, a lot of people don't want to use steel. Fair enough. You know what I mean? They'd fucking, why should they? If they don't want to use it, don't fucking force them to use it. Because at the end of the day, fucking lead comes out of the fucking ground. <laughs> put it, you know what I mean? You only put it back. There's there's land around here where I am now. Um, well, within a couple of miles. Um, a fucking horse died of lead poisoning from eating the fucking grass. There's that much fucking lead in the ground. You know what I mean? But nobody shoots on there. You know what I mean? It's fucking lead mines. <laughs> Fuck's sake. So, uh, yeah, it's already there, isn't it? You know what I mean? And they. You get the, heard this fucking scientist bird the other day. Oh, she says uh, the the birds might pick it up accidentally as seed. I mean, fucking hell, man! Has anyone ever seen the in these people seen the inside of a fucking cartridge? If you get a handful of that shot and fucking throw it, what's the likelihood of a bird going around picking up each fucking bit? It's fucking remote, man. It's got to be fucking remote. You know what I mean? Well, like I say I've got no a lead ban. Doesn't bother me. Couldn't give a flying fuck. You know what I mean? What bothers me is the way these people have gone about it. I'm basically trying to force everybody else. Um, it's, you know, they're basically saying, oh, I know lads that fucking point blank refuse to use steel. They won't have none of it. They, they let, you know, they shoot with lead and that is it. Um, and that's fair enough. You know, I know steel does work. It's. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not going to get into a fucking argument over that. <laughs> I know it works, and it works at you know better ranges. And people are saying they say, "Oh, it's 25 yards." It's fucking not. I shoot pigeons 60, 70 yards out with the fucking steels, and uh, it's not. Uh, you know, on fucking video, fucking people with me, shocked sometimes at the fucking distance we nail that we nail these birds at. But that's irrelevant. <coughs> um. What, I, what I'm thinking is, is the way people have gone, or the way the organisations have gone about it, trying to force people. That's where, it, there's enough fucking rules and regulations and whatnot as it is with the shooting. Fucking steaming up. Um, with the shooting and the licensing and all this, that and the other. Um, what you can shoot, what you can't shoot, where you can shoot, you know what I mean? All this fucking, there's far too much fucking bullshit as there is. Without forcing people who don't want to do it. They, you know what I mean? The scientific, they're saying that they've got the scientific facts. <sighs> you know what I mean? Fucking hell. Yeah, the scientific facts. We're going to be fucking. Christ, we're all going to be cooking in fucking three years, according to these fucking scientists. So, uh, you know what I mean? And, well, you only have to look at it here. Fucking climate change. Fuck off. Fucking fields are bastard flooded. Global warming. Fuck off. I'm up to me fucking, I'm up to me fucking ups here <laughs> in water. And this field, these fields never flood. There's a ditch here. This ditch is four foot fucking deep. It's overflowed. So, uh, yeah, it's called winter, you soft cunts. Fucking, perhaps they have uh, doing a deal with little Greta. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, perhaps Greta's been to the fucking Basque headquarters and threatened them. <laughs> that could be funny, couldn't it? We're going to march against... Ugh, fuck off. Fuck off. Anyway, they're all full of fucking shit. So basically, yeah, so that's what's happening. Oh, gone again. The shooting organisation. Organisations are saying, yeah, it's all going to be done in five years. The cartridge manufacturers are saying, no, it fucking isn't. <laughs> you never fucking told us about that shit. I mean, you got the fucking problem... 
you've got fucking Packham going on about taking people to, taking death to court or trying to get these um, shoots to not release so many birds or having an environmental impact survey done on the release of these birds, <coughs> pheasants, etc. Well, uh, I can't fucking see how, how all this just, I don't know, fucking everybody, oh, fuck me. We've got the likes. Of, we've got the likes of Wild Justice that are trying to fuck the shooting up, and then from the inside, we've got the fucking shooting organisations who say they're our voice. They're not. You know what I mean? They're doing fuck all. Oh, they're doing, they're fucking it up for us. There's um, like I say, yeah, pack them, and then they're fucking sorting out, trying to sort out the the, the release of pheasants. Well, other organisations have got, have gone on about. Um, Oh yeah, we're not going to put up with that. We're going to do this. We're going to do. Well, at the end of the day, you fucking ban the lead and all these high bird shoots. I mean, you know, you can fucking you can shoot pheasants and whatnot with steel, but you have got to be a bit fucking a bit sensible with the ranges, especially if you're not used to it. So some of these birds, you you see them fucking shooting them, Christ, 80, 90 fucking yards up on a hell of a fucking height. That that's not going to work, you know. So. Them shoots are going to end up releasing less pheasants, um, to my mind. They'll have to release less pheasants because they're not going to be able to put these big drives on for, for the high birds. So these shooting organisations are fucking handing it to these twats on a plate. What are they going to give up on next? Fucking... I tell you, they're all fucking shafting us from fucking... From every fucking angle. So... But... Like I say, I'm gonna put all the I'll put all the links to all the uh, the press releases and the statements and <coughs> all the bullshit in the description. You can read it and make your own mind up. Um, other than that, I don't know what uh, I don't know what what the outcome of this is gonna be. I'm gonna go with that. Fuck. Um, I don't know what the outcome of this is going to be. Like I say, the, the Basque seem to think that everyone's on board with it. Where the fuck did you get that idea from? I don't know. When the, the manufacturers are saying no chance. So, read the statements. Make up your own mind. Um, oh, yeah, the, the lead. The oh, fucking lead. The, the plastic wad thing. Fuck me, this fucking thing. And the plastic wad thing is definitely a fucking issue because um, with us using the steel, because it's not just me that uses steel. Hitman uses steel. My brother uses steel. My uncle uses steel. Pretty much anyone that comes on on the videos with with me or whatever, apart from Jim and Clint, they were on they were on lead that time. But anyway, um, yeah, anyone that comes shoot with me, we're all on always on steel. And obviously the problem is the fucking plastic wads. I'd like to see the some the something happen with the plastic wads because after we've been after we finish shooting it half a dozen shots or hundred fucking shots or whatever we wander around the bloody decoy pattern picking up trying to pick up the waddings and get rid of them um because they are fucking unsightly you fire a shot and that that wadding's still going to be here 200 years after you fucking died in it you know what i mean so uh you know so that is that's something that needs addressing but as the cartridge manufacturers say they're only relatively small companies they shouldn't be forced at the forefront of sorting out eco-plastics. There's massive plastic companies out there that, that literally specialise in plastics. They should be leading the way in, in the eco-plastics and then that will filter down then to the, the smaller companies, obviously. But uh, sounded quite intelligent then, didn't I? That's only I read that last night. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I was gonna gonna go to fucking Shropshire to watch a rally today, but uh, thought Storm George, or whatever it was fucking called, some fucking foreign name. There was George spelt in a fucking foreign way, but anyway, it hasn't really turned up yet, as yet. Oh, fucking! Hang on. Oh, my window fucking steaming up. All steamed up. Um, yeah, so I, I fucked me day up. I fucked my own day up last Saturday. I fuck, the weather tried to fuck me day up today. 
but didn't. So I fucked that up myself. Could have come shooting. Fucking loads of crows on this on this uh, stubble turnip field behind me, but it's that fucking wet and muddy. Oh man. Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, check out the the links in the description for the statements, etc. And uh, put put any comments you've got on the bottom. There was something else I was going to fucking say and all I completely fucking forgot. Straight out of me fucking head. That's the trouble. Once I start yapping on this thing, I'll go off on, on one and then forget what I was going to say. So, <laughs> you'll probably find it in the comments later on. But, uh, I don't think, um, I don't think these organisations are doing themselves any favours. There's a hell of a lot of people on social media um, saying they're going to pull their fucking subscriptions and not going to, they're not going to pay for these fuckers anymore. You know what I mean? So, and to be fair, they fucking, they are shooting themselves in the foot, figuratively speaking. Um, probably not using lead like they shoot themselves in the foot using steel. But, um, yeah, that's what they're doing, they're shooting themselves in the foot and they're fucking everything else up for for the rest of us <coughs> some of the one of the cartridge manufacturers was saying these um, organizations are using data that's been pulled out from Denmark and America on the steel shot of how it works out there but it won't it doesn't transfer to here because we have to use different powered cartridges we can't use the same loads or the same power or or whatever it is over there, it's in the, in the statement. But, um, yeah, we can't use here the same loads as they can use, say, you know, in the States or like they've been using in Denmark. At the end of the day, Norway, I think it was Norway. Yeah, Norway um, announced last week that they're reverting back to lead. So, yeah, I fucking can't work it out at all. It's just... Um, it's all a fuck up, innit? <laughs> and then obviously we got we got fucking wild justice wanna take everybody to court. Where the fuck do they get their money from? I know they crowdfund and that, but fuck me, man. Jesus Christ. Somebody fucking needs to take them twats to court for a change. Um You know, that needs fucking dealing with. We've got the general licence coming up for a new... Oh, I think it's... Uh, they're leaving it alone now till the end of July. So we've got that fucking bollocks cut all coming again in August. Ah, oh, fuck me, it's snowing. Fuck's sake. F fucking weather. <laughs> <laughs> fucking climate change. Um, yeah, so we've got all that fucking nonsense to look forward to next August. You know, right in the fucking harvest when uh, you need to be shooting the fucking pigeons and whatnot. And, oh, fuck me. I think I might have to start a, a fucking knitting channel because I don't think my shooting channels are going to do any good <laughs> unless I move over, move to Texas. I think I'm going to live in Texas. I can play with a fucking 50, 50 cal then, and uh, <laughs> yeah, not have the fucking restrictions like we got here. It's fucking ludicrous, isn't it? Fucking ludicrous. Well, have you, have you, what to call it? Have you say in the comments below? Check out the links. Um, all the links actually I put them on um, CH Field Sports on Facebook so you can pop along and have a look there if you want um, or like I say check the links out don't check the links out call me a twat in the comments whatever just like, subscribe, comment have a cup of coffee snort coke off a hooker's ass whatever whatever you want to do whatever you want to do for the rest of the day <laughs> anyway right i'm going to fuck off because well it's snowing everything's getting wetter while i'm standing sat here the water's coming under the fucking gate now so if i sit here much longer i'm going to need to fucking paddle me fucking jeep out and not uh <laughs> not drive it out so i'll just show you the field quickly before I do fuck off. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fucking hell, I was resuming the cunt in then. 
That's a ditch, that. But the ditch is not, like, working. Ugh. Anyway. Right. That's it. Fucking hell, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, where we gone? Sorted. Right, see you later, peoples. Have yourselves a little bit of a ass kicking contest down in the comments, and we'll uh, speak to you later. Look at the shit I fucking put up with just to bring you a ranty, ranty video. <sighs> fucking wet, peoples, innit? Fucking wet. Thank fuck for the four wheel drive. <laughs> Look at that fucking puddle. There's more fucking water here now than, than there was through the duck season. <laughs> Obviously, uh, you can tell I don't walk for. <laughs> I don't fucking walk anywhere. <laughs> fucking drive everywhere. Fuck them. Hey, you like farmers that have got nice. Nice little tracks for me to drive from. Drive along. Look at the fucking. That's the duck pond that uh, me and the man and my brother shoot on. And it's uh, it's now come across. It's come across the fucking road. Ooh, deep there, no. <laughs> ah well. I'm going too close to the guys on the bill. I hope they come. <laughs> Bye!